Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to take a screenshot of any element, I mean any element in your website and download it as an image. And the extension can be of your choice. So let's create the project. So I'm gonna create the React project with Vit. I'm gonna just choose the JavaScript. You can just type script if you want. As you can see, this is the initial starting page when we create the React application from Bit. Let's actually create a button which will take the screenshot of our page. This is the button. And upon the click of this button, we are going to take the screenshot of this entire section down here. So actually, let me just wrap this whole thing in another div. Yeah, that's great. So now we're going to take the screenshot of this div. Let's just call it take screenshot. Now we're going to take this div and place it in the canvas. And the canvas has the method which can export the image. So in order to do that, we're going to install the package name HTML to canvas, which is a really handy tool. So what we can do now is we can write HTML to canvas and we can pass which element uh, we want to take and place it inside the canvas. Get the element by ID and pass it inside this HTML to canvas which will take that element and paint it in the canvas for us and we'll return that canvas. Now if the element is not present we can just return from it so that our function will not throw an error so let's just pass the element here and it will return the promise and we can cast the canvas element as a whole in this promise we got the canvas we got the element inside the canvas now what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert that canvas into data url in order to do that we can just do something like this so what this line will do is it will take whatever is inside our canvas and convert that into base 64 uh, let me just quickly log it and show you in the browser this is the base 64 of our image which is data colon image jpg and here's the base 64 we already got the base 64 of our image now all there's left to do is download it so how we're gonna do that in order to do that we're just gonna create a new anchor tag anchor element and we're gonna download it what are we gonna download we're gonna download this image and the file name's gonna be something like capture.jpg and we're just gonna click that element so let's try what we'll get Clear everything up and take it. Sense. We got the image. Looks like the background is not captured. We can set the background. If you look inside this HTML to canvas, it takes various options, and one of them is background color. So I guess we can pass the background color like this. Let me just refresh this and take a screenshot. We can see the background color is black and we have successfully captured the image of our div. We can create a separate file here inside uh, SRC. We can call it utils.js and inside here we can just create a function which will take a file name, file type, yeah. I forgot the main thing. We'll take the element ID. So now let's just grab everything from here, cut it, and paste it here. Now let's actually also pass the background color. Background color, which will default to black. this will be our function which will take the screenshot of 
any div that we want. So let's just call this function take screenshot. So I guess the function names are conflicting here. Let's actually call this function. So what this will do is it will take the screenshot. Let's try it. Oops, something went wrong. HTML to canvas is not defined. I guess we forgot this import. Let's grab it from here and paste it here. So I think we'll be good to go. Here we go. We successfully took the screenshot again, but this time we just made the generic function. This function can be used anywhere in any of your front end project, whether that would be React, Vue, Angular, or just plain vanilla JavaScript, anything. So thank you for watching, guys.